Let's get this bird in the air. Let's see what's inside unboxing the DJI Air 3S. Okay, first up, we've got the Air 3S itself. Sleek, lightweight, and staring at me like it knows I have no idea what I'm doing. Next, we've got some propellers. You know, those things you hope you never have to replace, but definitely will. And of course, the charging brick cables and ah yes, the controller. That's right, it's basically a flying video game. Before we dive into the skies, we need to download the DJI Fly app. Trust me, this app is your co-pilot. It'll walk you through the setup and stop you from accidentally turning your drone into a UFO. Downloading the DJI Fly app. All right, search for the DJI Fly app. Looks like a tiny drone on your phone. Download it, install, and boom, you're officially in the Drone Pilot Club. Jacket and sunglasses optional, but recommended. Now, open the app, create or log in to your DJI account, and connect the drone to the control. Let's. If you get stuck, just remember, every pilot starts somewhere, even the ones who've crash-landed in their neighbor's pool. Preparing the aircraft. All right, propellers time. DJI makes this foolproof, black on black, gray on gray. If you still mess this up, well, let's just say manuals are your friend. Tighten them in place and give them a little spin. If they fly off mid-flight, well, at least you'll have great blooper footage. Place the drone on a flat surface. Now a quick visual check, no loose parts, propeller solid, great. Now we're ready to give this bird some juice. Power on and pair the drone. Slide the battery in until it clicks. No click, no flight. Trust me, I've learned that the hard way. Now for the fun part, power it on. Tap the power button once and then press and hold. Like a double tap handshake, but for drones. Next up, we power on the controller the same way. Tap, hold, and voila. The DJI Fly app should now show a connection. If it doesn't, don't panic. It's either user error or the drone is simply playing hard to get. Final checks before liftoff when you are almost airborne. Make sure you calibrate the compass and check the app for firmware updates. Yes, even drones need their software updated. If you see any errors, well, blame Mercury in retrograde. And there you have it. The DJI Air 3S prep to first flight. Let's get the DJI Air 3S airborne. All right, before you unleash your inner maverick, let's do a quick pre-flight check because nothing says drone pilot like flying smart. Step one, check the weather. Avoid gusty winds unless you're secretly auditioning for a drone stunt show. Propellers, locked battery, GPS, locked onto more satellites than my phone can even dream of. We're golden. Oh, and don't forget to calibrate that compass, unless of course, you like surprise trips into trees. Basic flight operations. Okay, it's time to launch. Here's how we're gonna do this. In the DJI Fly app, tap the auto takeoff button. Or if you're old school, pull both joysticks diagonally down and inward. And look at that, smooth liftoff. Now let's talk joystick basics. Left stick, up for altitude, down to descend, push it left or right to rotate. Right stick moves the drone forward, backward, or side to side. Remember, gentle movement. This isn't an F1 car, unless you're in sport mode, but let's not start there, unless you like living dangerously. Capturing photos and videos. Now for the fun part, photos and videos. The DJI Air 3S lets you switch between wide angle and telephoto modes. Want those dramatic close-ups? Telephoto. Need a sweeping landscape? Wide angle is your best friend. And it records in 4K at 120 FPS. So, if you need slow motion shots that'll make your footage look cinematic, or just make your dog jumping look cooler, this is the way to go. One more tip, enable D-Log-M or HLG for more post-processing flexibility. Perfect for those who love tinkering with colors and editing. Smart return to home, RTH. Now let's talk about the feature that'll save your drone and your sanity more than once, Smart RTH. This feature brings the drone back to where it took off if the battery gets low or if it loses connection. Think of it like the drone saying, you're not ghosting me today. Tap the RTH button on the controller or trigger it from the DJI Fly app and boom, your drone will return home smoother than your GPS ever could. Just make sure nothing's blocking its path, trees, power lines, or uh, over-curious birds. Storage and data management. All right, so you've captured a ton of footage. Now what? The DJI Air 3S offers 42 gigabytes of internal storage, which is super handy. But, spoiler alert, it'll fill up fast if you're shooting in 4K. If you're planning a long shoot, make sure you've got a micro SD card ready, up to 256 gigabytes supported. You don't want to run out of space mid-flight unless you love deleting footage under pressure. 
And one last tip, always download your footage to your device or cloud ASAP. No one wants to experience the heartbreak of lost drone footage. And there you have it, the full setup and first flight experience with the DJI Air 3S. From smooth takeoffs to smart RTH, this drone makes flying feel easy and makes you look way cooler. Calling ND filters and wide angle lens when the aircraft is powered off. Now that we've got the basics covered, let's take things up a notch. It's time to install ND filters and a wide angle lens. These two little accessories can turn your footage from meh to chef's kiss. Removing the existing lens protector. Okay, let's start by removing the lens protector. Just give it a gentle twist counterclockwise. Don't hulk out on it, or you might end up wrestling with your drone. Why ND filters and wide angle lenses matter? First things, what the heck is an ND filter and why should you care? Well, ND filters are like sunglasses for your drone. They reduce light giving your videos that smooth, cinematic motion blur, even in bright conditions. Think less blown out skies and more professional vibes. Installing propeller guards on the DJI Air 3S, safety first, style second. All right, folks, it's time to installing the propeller guards. These aren't just for beginners. Even seasoned drone pilots can benefit from a little extra protection. After all, the only thing worse than hitting a tree is watching a propeller snap mid-flight. Why propeller guards matter. Propeller guards keep your drone's props intact in case of minor bumps, like hitting a wall or, you know, your neighbor's mailbox. They're especially handy if you're flying indoors or practicing those tricky maneuvers in tight spaces. Identify the correct guards for each arm. Each guard is labeled to fit a specific arm, usually marked as A or B to correspond with the propellers. It's important to get the right one in place. We don't want a backwards guard situation, unless you enjoy puzzles at 400. Now, let's take things to the next level with panorama mode, because why settle for an ordinary shot when you can have an extraordinary view? The DJI Air 3S offers some pretty cool panorama options that make your photos stand out like a masterpiece on a gallery wall. Once your drone is airborne and connected to the DJI Fly app, tap on camera settings, then swipe over to panorama mode. Here you'll see several options, wide angle, 180 degrees, and sphere. Each mode stitches multiple images together to give you a jaw-dropping perspective. Types of panorama modes, one, wide angle panorama, wide angle is great for landscapes. Think of it as a slightly zoomed out view that captures more of what's in front of the drone. It's like giving your camera the superpower of peripheral vision. Two, 180 degrees panorama. The 180 degree option creates a semicircle view perfect for those sweeping mountain vistas or stunning ocean views. It'll capture everything in front of the drone. Just don't try this one in a tight alley unless you like blurry walls. Three, sphere panorama. And if you want to go all in, try the sphere panorama. The drone takes multiple photos in every direction and stitches them into a cool spherical view. Imagine the earth as seen from space, but with your drone. It's Instagram gold. Shooting the panorama, tap the shutter and let the DJI Air 3S do the magic. Your drone will take multiple shots, so just sit back, relax, and maybe hum the Jeopardy theme song while it works. Pro tip, try to avoid moving the drone or flying birds photobombing your panorama. Notice how the drone adjusts its angle with every shot. That's the magic of DJI's gimbal and software stabilization, keeping things smooth so every shot aligns perfectly. Once the drone finishes shooting, the app will stitch the images together automatically. You can tips for better panorama shots. Lighting is key. Try to shoot during the golden hour for soft cinematic lighting. Keep the horizon level. The DJI Fly app helps with this, but it's always good to double check. Wind can mess things up. Avoid shooting in windy conditions. It'll reduce the chances of misaligned images. Panorama mode is one of those features that feels like cheating. But hey, it's not cheating if it makes your shots look epic. Whether you're capturing cityscapes, mountains, or rolling fields, panorama mode makes sure nothing gets left out. Unlocking enhanced transmission on the DJI Air 3S. Stay connected, fly farther. Using enhanced transmission mode, stronger signal, smoother flights. 
All right, ever been mid-flight and suddenly your signal drops faster than a Wi-Fi connection on a rainy day? Well, with DJI's enhanced transmission, those signal woes are a thing of the past. This feature gives you clearer, stronger signals, even when you're flying far from home or in signal-heavy environments. Let's see how to use it. What is enhanced transmission? Think of it as upgrading from a rusty old walkie-talkie to a high-speed satellite link. Enhanced transmission ensures low latency, minimal interference, and a stable connection for both your live video feed and flight controls, whether you're flying in the wilderness or near urban clutter. Enabling enhanced transmission in the DJI Fly app. To get started, go to Settings Transmission in the DJI Fly. From here, you'll see two options, Standard Mode and Enhanced Transmission Mode. Select the Enhanced option, because why settle for Standard when you can go Premium? When to use Enhanced Transmission. Enhanced Transmission is perfect for flying long distances. Want to push those range limits? You'll need a solid signal. Crowded signal areas. If you're flying near Wi-Fi networks or power lines, this mode reduces interference. Smooth video streaming. If you're recording live footage, enhanced mode ensures it doesn't stutter like an old DVD player. The science behind it, OcuSync technology. Drones like the DJI Air 3S rely on OcuSync transmission, DJI's proprietary tech for stable signals. With enhanced transmission, your drone can automatically switch between 2.4 GHz and 5.8 GHz frequencies, like a secret agent finding the best route to avoid obstacles. This means fewer disconnects and a crystal clear video feed. Let's talk about a hidden gem of the DJI Air 3S, Vision Assist. This feature makes flying your drone easier and safer, even for the rookies out there. With Vision Assist, your drone gets eyes, kind of like Spidey Sense, helping it detect obstacles, navigate tight spaces, and make smooth landings. Let's dive right into how it works and why it's your new best friend in the air. What is Vision Assist? Vision Assist combines obstacle avoidance cameras and intelligent algorithms to help the drone spot objects and react in real time. Think of it like a co-pilot, one that never takes a coffee break and is always looking out for hazards. Enabling Vision Assist in the DJI Fly app. Head over to the DJI Fly app, Safety Settings, Obstacle Detection. Make sure Vision Assist is enabled. Here, you can also choose how aggressive you want the obstacle avoidance to be. You can either set it to bypass. The drone smoothly flies around obstacles like it's dancing in midair. Break. It stops when it detects an obstacle, giving you time to decide your next move. Vision Assist in action, flying in complex environments. Vision Assist really shines when you're navigating tricky spots, like tight alleyways, forests, or near power lines. The sensors cover the front, rear, and underside of the drone, scanning constantly to avoid obstacles. No more nerve-wracking moments of, will it hit that branch or not? The DJI Air 3S just glides through. DJI Air 3S, chase the view and catch the fun. Introducing the DJI Air 3S, a drone that flies so smoothly, it might just replace your travel buddy. No offense, camera setup. Now this baby comes with not one, but two cameras. Because why settle for one angle when you can confuse your audience with a cinematic wide shot and a close-up at the same time? One inch CMOS sensor, 50 megapixels, because we don't do May resolution here. Telephoto, 1.3 inch sensor for 48 megapixel shots. Perfect for those, I'm totally not spying on the neighbor's moments. And guess what? It records in 4K at 120 FPS. That's like saying, here's my vacation footage in glorious slow motion, because if I have to watch grass grow, it better look amazing. Obstacle avoidance and LiDAR magic. Ever crash your drone into a tree and pretend it was part of the shot? No more. The DJI Air 3S comes equipped with LiDAR sensors. It sees the world so well, it might just replace your prescription glasses. This tech also shines in low light. So whether you're filming the sunset or just accidentally flying indoors at 3 a.m., this drone has your back. New features, RC tracking beacon. And here's where things get fun. Say goodbye to remotes. This thing has DJI RC track, a magical tracking beacon that makes it follow you like a lost puppy or that friend who never got the hint.